Okay, so I want to tell you real quick some of the things that you get in your family game night bag this week. It comes in the create bag, looks like this. You can pick it up at the front desk or through curbside, whichever one works for you. All you have to do is ask for it and we'll make sure you get it. Now, our game night bags do always come with prizes, so hmm, might be worth stopping in to get this one. And you get... This week we are going to, we're doing dots and we're doing tic-tac-toe. So you have several, there are several templates in here for dots and for tic-tac-toe. Um, all you have to do is play with, your, you get to play with your family. You can do speed tic-tac-toe. You can do tic-tac-toe tournaments. See who, who's the best in the family because you have a whole sheet plus a couple other sheets in here. Now, if you don't know how to play tic-tac-toe, <laughs> let's go over it just real quick. Now, it takes two people. One person is the X's and one person is the O's. And you take turns writing X's and O's in the squares to see who can get three in a, three in a row. And your goal is to make sure that your partner doesn't get three in a row while you do. So it takes a little bit of strategy. But it's pretty fun. And you can do it anywhere. Now, dots is also fun. It takes a little bit more strategy, which is why Miss Jamie isn't always very good at it. I can only usually think about one step ahead, and you need to think two or three steps ahead depending on who you're playing with. So, you get a, it's a whole sheet of dots, which sounds kind of silly. But what you're going to do is you're going to, and you can play with as many people as you'd like. So the whole family can do one dot sheet, or you can pair up and do it like you did tic-tac-toe. It's entirely up to you. But you're going to take turns drawing lines between two, two dots. The goal is to make a square. And every time you make a square, you're going to put your initial in there. And then when you're all done, whoever has the most squares wins. So you take turns, and each turn you're going to draw one line. And the goal is to make squares faster than everybody else. And sometimes you have to be careful, because sometimes if you put one line in, you get like four or five squares. And while that's good for you, it's not so good if the other person does it. So you kind of got to think ahead a little bit. It's good, good brain practice. But those are there. And like I said, if you don't, have the templates or if you run out of the templates and you want to keep playing we always did this in like this is like our card game we played it when we were in taking long rides you can do these yourself all you have to do is draw up a bunch of dots or draw in your one two three your four lines but miss jamie thought she'd make it a little easier on you so you can pick up those here and like I said, every game night bag comes with prizes because it is game night and we do always do prizes here at the library. And so I thought I'd try to make sure we did something the way we usually do it. <laughs> so, front desk, curbside, whichever one works for you. Just tell us what you need and we will make sure that you get it. And next week we're going to do story time. We'll have a fun craft. I'll make sure it's ready to go and explain it to you. And otherwise, have a good week. I will see you later. Bye.